Tēnā tato katoa. Good evening. Queenstown remains in a state of emergency tonight following record rain, landslides and the evacuation of more than 100 people. The resort town has had its wettest 24 hours of the century and it's not the only town in the south that spent the day cleaning up. In Gore, all eyes are on the rising Matoda River, which is set to peak later tonight. Kayleigh Callan reports. It's normally the iconic view from the top of Queenstown's gondola that attracts the most attention. Today, it was the mess at the bottom. Trees, debris and mud washing its way through the nearby cemetery, the result of last night's record rainfall. It was over 80 mils. It's the biggest in the last uh, 25 years. Visitors to our tourism mecca woken during the night. As we say in America, cats and dogs. It rained cats and dogs last night. Early this morning, the mayor declared a local state of emergency for Queenstown. This is why. Rockfall and debris sliding between properties. Cars in the firing line are now buried in silt. When uh, we've got a bit more light onto the situation and seeing the damage to some of the houses and the danger that uh, for people we couldn't really let them back in. And help is at hand. The government is on standby to provide whatever support is required. Uh, often it's, it's not until the weather band has passed that we you know, get to understand exactly uh, what support will be required in those areas, if any. Parts of Southland also remain under a state of emergency. Gore cleaning up from the deluge, wary of what's to come. Well, up country, um, there was a lot of rainfall last night, um, and that's now just coming through the rivers. The river is still rising and should peak around about 9 o'clock tonight, so we're just monitoring it and um, seeing whether we need to make any, any further recommendations. It was a wet end to the term for students at St Peter's College, faced with an extra pressure during mock exams. As they are sitting at these desks, water starts bubbling up between the cracks. They carried on their exams, they tried to hurry it through, but most said they'd be finished by 11.30. Slips have also wreaked havoc to the west as well. State Highway 6 between Makarora and Haast remains closed. Muddy Creek living up to its name until it was dusted with snow late this morning. The speed at which the south was soaked in contrast to the lengthy clean-up ahead. Well, kia ora, Kayleigh. We know Queenstown's water supply was already under threat. What's the latest on their cryptosporidium outbreak? Yeah, well, as if Queenstown wasn't really going through enough, they are still going through that cryptosporidium outbreak. The first case was early, identified earlier this week. The number today has now reached 223, so 23 cases of cryptosporidium. The problem is they still don't know what the source is and whether or not it's in the water supply. That could have ra uh, massive ramifications for the district if that is the case. So a boil water notice is still in place until they can figure out what's going on there. But with the school holidays just around the corner, this has come at a really bad time for Queenstown. The town is getting ready, doing what it can to stay open and the message from Queenstown is that they are very much still open for business. Kayleigh Callaghan there live from Queenstown. Tēnā koe. Meanwhile there has been a crazy switch in the weather for the middle of the South Island. Heavy snow brought traffic to a standstill in the Linders Pass and closed roads that only yesterday were threatened by raging wildfires. Casey Brownlee reports. What moves you, or in this case, what doesn't? I was heading to uh, Christchurch and as you see, haven't got very far. As the temperature plummeted, snow blanketed Lindis Pass. I got stuck because the truck in front of me got stuck. And now the snowplough who came to the rescue is stuck too. Have you got smoke over with you? <laughs> <laughs> There's a few of us stuck here by the looks of things. Traffic banking up either side. Oh, I saw that truck in the middle of the road up there so I thought I'd better pull over. Because we'll all have to go around the side of it. And I don't want to be stuck in the middle either. I reckon it's exciting. An opportunity not only for Ted the dog. We'll just get out a bottle of red wine and cook dinner. So if you want a cup of tea, I've got a, I've got a flask here and everything else. <laughs> Some might need it, with wild weather closing roads. We're heading to Franz Joseph. Uh... Instead of four hours, it's going to take nine and a half, I think. For others, it's their first time in the snow. We are on our way back to Christchurch. We went to Queenstown. Beautiful. Don't see it often. It's an icy zero degrees here in the Lindis Pass where the rain has well and truly turned to snow. It's falling thick and steadily, causing chaos along the way. 
and sending shivers down the spine of livestock braving the elements. A far cry from the hot, blustery fire fanning weather of yesterday. We had strong and northwesterly winds and they came over the ranges and we get what's called a fern effect. And this dries out and heats up the temperatures as well. It was postcard perfect in Tikapur with more fun than frustration. No traffic chaos here and as snow ploughs work around the clock, thankfully no more chaos there. It may be a long road ahead, but at least they're back on the move. Well, let's go straight to Keisha, and we might just stay with you for the rest of the show. That looks amazing. <laughs> uh, but is the worst of it over? Well, as you can see, Mike, it is still snowing here and it's still pretty cold too, a chilly one degrees. But safe to say, it prob probably the worst of it is through. Uh, the the orange heavy snow warning is in place until 9 o'clock tonight, but that doesn't mean the risk is over. There's still a lot of snow around, and motorists are warned to be careful on alpine passes. Most of them are still open, especially as it gets darker and these temperatures dip even further. People should check the Waka Kotahi Journey Planner before they leave, especially if they're planning on getting a head start on the school holidays, which are just around the corner. Keisha, tēnākwe, and keep warm. Gosh, it does look beautiful there, doesn't it? Well, Heather is in now with more on all of this weather. So where is the system heading next? To the North Island from tomorrow, but with no snow. There is still rain and snow tonight for the south, though, but it does clear tomorrow morning. The front is then expected to stall over the North Island, and it's thanks to the blocking high out east. The system is then complicated further by joining with the trough from the tropics. So a lot of heavy rain over the entire weekend, with warnings and watches already out, and I'll have those details after sports. Thanks, Eva. We'll look forward to that. Well,